Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about Lucas. Or now, really. So that leaves your mother. She wants to rebuild our relationship. I mean, I want that too. I miss my mom, but it's just complicated because of Shiloh. She regrets her actions now, and I can forgive her mistakes, but it doesn't change what Shiloh did. And everything I had to give up because of him. Being Wiley's mother. We can talk later. <laughs> oh, hey, look who it is. You remember Willow and your Uncle Chase? Of course I do. Oh, yeah. Of course you do. Cool. You know what? Has your dad been boring you all day? <sighs> You're a bad influence, you know that? That's an uncle's prerogative. Go push it. Guess what? What? I am the luckiest uncle in the world. Why? You wanna know why? Because I have the coolest niece in the world. You might know her. Her name is Violet. That's me. Yeah, <laughs> come here. Oh. I should get going. I want to uh, see Brad and Lucas before visiting hours end. OK. Do you want me to come along or? Uh, no, no, no. You stay here. I'll, uh, I'll see you at home. OK? OK. Hey, okay. it was so good seeing you, Violet. Bye. Bye. Right. Was there something I said? Willow, I took off right after I, I showed up. I mean, I, I, uh, I even showered. You sure it wasn't me? Yeah, I'm sure. Well, I've been told I can be an acquired taste for some. Well, you've been told the truth. Why do I keep setting you up? <laughs> but really, um, Willow leaving had nothing to do with you. She's, she's got a lot going on. Okay. Well, by the looks of it, she's not the only one. I, uh. I heard Nell Benson was admitted to GH, and that must have caused her a little strain. Not for Willow and me. Thankfully, she doesn't even know what Nell looks like. Okay, well, um, do you want to tell me what's going on between you two, or should I just keep guessing? It's, it's okay, she's, she's in her own little world. All right. For a, for a minute there, Willow thought she might be pregnant. She's not, but she, she didn't even tell me until after the fact. But I don't know, it's, 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 like, it's like Pandora's box, I guess, where once you start thinking about parenthood, it's nearly impossible to stop thinking about it. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome, sweetheart. What's the matter with you, huh? I mean, didn't you ever get to talk about, you know, using perfection? Okay, Willow and I, We, Willow and I were very responsible, all right? And besides, it was a false alarm. Okay, good. Oh, don't get me wrong, my kids are, kids are amazing and all that, but I was barely ready to be a father, and I got a few years on you. A few? Hilarious. Well, I mean, hypothetically, what would you have done if, if Willow was pregnant? Look, I'm, I'm not ready to be a father just yet, and, um... But I'm committed to a future with Willow. I love her. So yeah, if if she got pregnant, I would be all in. I'm talking the stroller, the minivan, the whole thing. But I'm not gonna lie, I was I was relieved. But I'm not a not gonna be a dad just yet. You know, you'll be a good dad when the time comes, but in the meantime, it seems like everything worked out. So what's the problem? I think just the thought of her being pregnant brought back some feelings about Wiley for Willow. <laughs>